Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can fix the too many corrections error. So here you can see I generated this from error logs and under my WordPress website, too many connections, MySQL error is visible. So it's really easy to fix it. Let's fix it. Now we have reached our website. So it's a MySQL error. As I told you, too many connections. So you need to optimize your MySQL database. Go to your WordPress website. Here is, you can see plugins are visible. From here also you can click add new or straight away click on add new here. So I'll click on add new here. So we need to install a plugin. I'll just type. As I told you, I need to optimize my database. So I type the same keyword optimize database. That's it. So here you can see different plugins are visible. I'll go for the WP optimize. This will clean my database. Click on install now. It's a popular plugin with one plus million active installations. Superb rating. This is perfect for our too many connections error. Click on install now. So we have installed it. Click on activate. So guys, we have activated it. We will go below. On the left, you can see now WP optimize is visible. You just need to click here. Since we have activated it, the same is visible on the left. Now guys, click on dismiss here. Here in, you can see, we need to select these optimizations because we are optimizing a database. Before that guys, you need to take up backup of your database and website completely. Let us see how to backup. Go to your cPanel. Here in, you can search for backup. You can type just backup here. On typing, you can see backup is visible. Click here. On clicking, you can see you can download the complete backup. That will take a lot of time. So if you want a backup, at first you can download the MySQL database backup by clicking here. This will generate a zip file. With that, you can just click on home directory here. So let me click this. Below, you can see the database is backing up and it will get compressed. Now when I'll click on home directory, it will download it. So this is the home directory of my website and these two files are important. If I want to restore my backup, restoration comes here. Let's say you have both these backup of your WordPress files here and of your database SQL files here. You just need to upload these files here and your sites will get backed up. So guys, we backed up our database as well as our website completely. Now we are free to optimize our database tables. So let's see the first one is optimized database table. You can see the first one is optimized database tables. So here in I'll check it right. It will optimize a database. Post revisions are also visible. You can clean them also auto draft. I'll just leave it as it is clean all trash post. There is nothing in my trash post. So I'll just uncheck it spam and trash command. Yes, select it unapproved command. There are nothing. Leave it expired transit options. This is the option you need to select. That's it. Everything looks fine. You can also clean, clean this clean post meta data. Okay. Now you can see I'll just click on run all selected optimizations. It will take some time and it will optimize your database. So herein you can see it is optimizing all our tables. So herein you can see guys optimization complete. Post revisions deleted, spam comments deleted, trash deleted, expired transit option zero available, rest deleted. Clean post metadata everything got deleted. So we have optimized our database. After that you can just delete the cache, clear all cache. With that, if you want to optimize your website more, you can go to images and give it an option of lazy loading. Here it is, but for that you need to buy the plugin. I guess this is fine database. You can also minify your settings. But I prefer to do this with some other plugin that is fastest cache or super cache. So we have optimized our database. This was our goal. Now you have deleted the cache. Just open your website in a new browser. 
wait for some minutes or wait for some seconds or minutes and your too many connections error the following error will vanish so guys in this video we saw how we can fix the mysql i real connect too many connections error on our website wordpress website if you like the video do subscribe to our channel number things